Hey YouTube, it's Keith, I'm back. Just a couple things I've been working on. Uh, a couple ideas to uh, keep the tree, tree huggers away from me. Uh, I was gonna get, uh, I bought some broom handles and some three quarter inch couplers. Stuck the broom handles together to make a tripod. Now the uh, couplers split, they're not very strong so I had to reinforce them with tape. I think what I'm gonna do is cut them into sections, get some more couplers, and glue them on, and then reinforce them with tape, and uh, bundle them all up and put them on my bat or my uh, web gear, which is highly modified here, and just put them right here on my butt pack. So, yeah. Now I've been uh, checking out poncho shelters, and uh, this is kind of the Vietnam setup. The cat really loves it. He's probably in there right now. But, uh, I don't know, my uh, Canadian military poncho must not be the same size as everybody else. There's the U.S. one. Because, um, I don't know, I could crawl in there and it would work in a pinch. But I don't think I'd be very comfortable. I think I'd be better off just to put it on and lean up against a tree. So, yeah. Just, uh, I'll fix that. We'll, we'll get that straightened out. And uh, I made a tent peg down there with uh, my cool little dollar store find. And uh, I was tinkering around with it. And I actually found another blade inside of it. It's not very sharp. Looks like it might have a bottle opener or something. Maybe a can opener. Not sure. I'll put an edge on that. It's not very thick. So it's light duty. But, uh, you know, I might cut up a steak or something. <laughs> so I've been messing around with the hatchet. Just chopping away. Um, been messing around. I have a... Uh, ouch. Still hot. I have a, uh, an old emergency fire stove, um, six hour or eight hour emergency fire stove from Canadian Tire. And it's like sterno and it's empty. But uh, I popped some holes in the end with my uh, knife. My Ruko knife made in Swain or made in Spain. <laughs> Bought at Canadian Tire. It's uh, very sharp, very nice knife. And uh, I actually, yeah, for all the Canadian Army guys out there, they'll know what that is. It's a frog or a bayonet carrier. Um, yeah, it fits. It's awesome. I actually bought two. There she is right there on my web gear. Awesome. So, right on. Now, I'm going to make some coffee here. Let me get this going. I repurposed the, uh, the stove. I always have my Leatherman Wave on me. And Fair CM Rod, part of one. If ferrocium rod fits in the uh, leatherman sheath, use my uh, saw to back side of it. There we go. We're all lit. Put the knife away every time you use it and you're done with it. That way you can find it. It used to be really bad. It was a habit I had to break. Putting it back. So, right on. So, let's get that on there. See my nice stainless steel cup that's now turned black. 
Everybody's seen my uh, Nescafe 3-in-1. It's great. It's like uh, 320 for a bag of 15 of them. Uh, you don't have to buy whitener or sugar. Everything's all right in here, and it's a perfect blend for me. I love it. It's uh, awesome. Now I had some alcohol, and I just loaded the uh, stove, and um, you have to be careful when you snuff the fire out on it. I shrunk my O-ring, so this one leaks a little bit if you don't wrench it down tight. So my next one, I'm going to take that out before I snuff the fire. So right on. And something else I've been working on. Uh, I think I have boots, bush boots. They're really good quality. I was breaking them in in my other video. You may have seen them. I didn't mention them, but you may have seen me wearing them. I just purchased some uh, minus 50 degrees Celsius, 58 Fahrenheit rubber boots. It's going to start getting cold here in Canada. So I want to be ready, and I think uh, the rubber boots, I usually wear r rubber boots in my videos anyways. They seem to be right on, because I get in some pretty swampy areas, areas that I don't know I'm going to be in, and I don't have to wreck my feet or get wet too much, unless it's really deep. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start wearing rubber boots out in the bush. Now here's my... Uh, my web gear, heavily modified. It's all uh, C9 pouches and a butt pack. Got my uh, Ruko knife. Uh, C9 pouches, I got one ammo pouch there. I put on a really cool, on the back, kind of a German Flectar haversack. Holds a lot of stuff, it's great. Tarp, shelter stuff, food, it's awesome. And I got another ammo uh, pouch up on the uh, the riser or up on my uh, the yoke so it rides nice as long as you don't get anything too heavy in the uh, haversack because it kind of digs into your back a bit I just keep the light stuff up here toilet paper toiletries uh, tarp cordage all the heavy stuff, uh, water, catadine goes in the butt pack, my, uh, you know, the water, spare water goes in there. So that's, uh, that's what I've been up to, just messing around with a couple ideas. So I thought I'd use my dollar store find. Anyways, this video is getting long. I gotta go, and I'll see you on YouTube. Ciao for now.